Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the finances of security, like getting into how expensive it is to get into hacking. Um, so I'm just going to get started and kind of tell you guys, first of all, this video was kind of hard to make because there's a lot of different branches of the cybersecurity world. So it's very hard to determine one specific, like generalize it as a whole, but I did my best and I'm also splitting it into different categories to kind of help you guys get a feel about the expenses throughout the field, right? So starting out, um, you're going to need a laptop and that's just going to go for pretty much any field you're going to go into. You're going to need some sort of computer that has enough processing power, enough RAM, etc., that can generally help you out and kind of get you started with whatever field you want to get into right now. If you're getting a decent computer, which is like eight gigabytes of RAM, probably 512 gigabyte SSD or hard drive, and um, you know, good ports, and then like a Windows operating system or a Linux operating system, right? Um, this would go for about six hundred fifty dollars or up, right? Um, you don't want to get like a MacBook um, because that's a very expensive computer and it's very good for programming. And I know some people do use it for security, but if you're going to go for cybersecurity, you may as well just use Linux, unless if you're going to be doing malware development, which in case. Windows would probably be a good op option as well. Um, going through that, it kind of starts focusing on your learning base, right? The education, that foundation that you're going to need. Um, so when it comes to general learning, let's say you need to learn a programming language, which is almost very common in almost every field. And even if you're not going to be using the programming language, it's something very important to learn because it teaches you how to think. It teaches you how to problem solve and how to think creatively. And it just very helpful and very useful to know a programming language to begin with. So let's say we are using Python. I actually do have a Python course on my website. It's completely free. If you guys want to take it and check it out and kind of just not have to worry about paying for anything, it's a good, great course. I've taught it to plenty of people, right? Regardless, um, there's a lot of free options when it comes to courses, right? When you're trying to learn cryptography, Python, um, networking, um, there's so many free resources on YouTube. So you really don't need to spend money on courses unless if there's certifications. You should never spend money on a course if you're not going to get a certification for it. Speaking of certifications, there are the security certifications. Um, these are very um, popular. Um, security certifications are very like in high demand within the security community, um, but they are expensive. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's things like the CEH, Certified Ethical Hacker, OSCP, Defensive Security um, Certified Penetration Tester, I believe. Security certifications could go from anywhere from 400 US dollars up to thousands of US dollars. Um, I know, I believe it is the um, Security Plus, I think is like $1,115, something like that. Um, so good thing is there are ways you can, you know, if you're able to afford these certifications, definitely, you know, go for it. Um, I'm also under understanding that um, people who've entered the military, like my friend Matsi, he's entered the military and the military paid for all of his certifications. So he never really had to worry about having to pay for all these certifications. So he was able to study, learn and grow his foundation while not having to worry about paying for certifications. So if that's something, the military is something you're interested in, those, that's definitely an option you can check out. Going through that as well with the military option, it's about careers, right? Careers are going to be the main thing that's going to be focusing on how much money you're going to be spending within the industry. Um, if you're a security hobbyist, you're going to end up spending a lot more money than you would by working in the industry. And I'll kind of clarify that in a little bit, right? So if you're ent entering the industry, there's about four main divisions of the security field that uh, most jobs would typically fall under, which is the red teaming side, blue teaming side, security um like cybercrime and cybercrime slash analytics and then there's like the engineering and development front right um so i'll start with the red teaming red teaming tends to be one of the more popular ones right it's the people who are hired by a company to test their security right they um will act as if they were black hat hackers malicious hackers um, entering the company, seeing how much information they can get, right, report and give it back to the company showing what vulnerabilities they had, what they need to fix, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, while working in the industry, you're going to be using a lot of tools. And if you're familiar with Hack5 gear, where their gear tends to be very pricey, but 
it is a very common tool that you're going to be using in the field and if you are right now not in the field and you want to get familiarity with these tools um, you're going to need to start being able to purchase them and such to give you guys some context about the hack 5 gear which is again very common within the security world you can see one of their more famous tools the usb rubber ducky goes about for 50 dollars pineapple goes for about 100 dollars bash bunny is about 120 dollars key crux about 100 dollars and the shark jack is about 70 dollars so it is very important to understand that this gear can tend to be very pricey or very you know it depends on where you are at right again if you're a hobbyist you would have to spend your own money to purchase these items while if you were working in the industry you would be supplied these items again that's kind of like that front of whether you're in the industry or you're a hobbyist right as a hobbyist you're going to spend a lot more money trying to um, be able to purchase these types of gear and you also have to consider if this is like a career field you're interested in or if you're just doing it for fun which is cool um, but you have to realize that if you're going to spend 120 dollars on a piece of gear and then use it once then you may have to be reconsidering how much money you're actually should be dedicating to that hobby right so you need to consider what career field you're going in what kind of things you want to do in that security field and consider how much money you should actually be spending towards this gear and there are um i guess alternative options there's like um, raspberry pi where you can create a lot of tools that do a lot of similar things or the exact same things as some of the hack five gear remains in here for cheaper prices right um so it's really up to you and your creative freedom and i guess your financial um stability to figure out what's the best decision for you um again there's other fields like the blue teaming which is more for that security defense front where a team would be more on the defense side protecting companies against black hat hackers there isn't as much of a financial front to that right you just need the certifications you need the training and most of what else, whatever else you may need will be supplied by the company that you may be working for but if you're a hobbyist again you need to you know de dive into like blue teaming about like what certifications you need what trainings you may need what you need to learn and what financial basis is structured around that um there's also the cybercrime and analytics field with cybercrime and analytics is very self-explanatory it's about more of the law of cyber law cyber warfare etc and analytics is basically the studying of that data and um, i know there's like malware analysts security analysts um, again with all of these fields it really just depends on how you're trying to enter it and what position you are in um, my personal suggestion would be as a guess a plan um getting that laptop for no more than like 800 dollars probably because the things for your laptop if you're getting like a keyboard and a mouse and a monitor those are good and if you are working in a field based around this computer then that's something you definitely want to invest in but again you guys seem like my desktop videos and stuff most of this is just for recording this monitor that i'm looking at right here is specifically for my obs so i can see myself talking make sure the camera looks good make sure there's nothing weird going on and that can account for everything right this microphone you're not going to probably buy a studio microphone right um, a lot of stuff that i have is specific to what i'm doing which is security education um, what you guys may be doing is completely different right when you have um you know invest in gear like this like hack five gear and again you may not need all the gear that i have right i'm having it so i can use it teach it and educate you guys about it but if you are trying to get into wi-fi hacking you may not need a rubber ducky you may want to invest in alpha network adapters or the wi-fi pineapple or things like that so you can kind of focus your interest towards that you need to kind of understand about what your career goal is are you just a hobbyist you're just playing around with tools which is cool but in effect it will be more expensive or are you trying to focus on one main subject so again going back to my point about what my plan would be is to get that laptop take some sort of security course um, or like a programming course from there you would um, try to get either certifications and then here's another front which is college right if you are trying to enter the I guess the industry there's certifications which are very helpful and that's what a lot of companies may be looking for but i know some companies are still requiring like that degree of you know graduating from college or university wherever you may be from so college on its own is a whole new level of expense right i can't even calculate for that because it's so different for wherever you go 
um, whatever your tuition is and student debt, student loans um, to get this degree and major in these um, security fields or computer science, whatever you want to do in that career field. So you need to understand where you want to be, where you want to go with this. Like for me, I'm an educator, right? So a lot of the stuff I'm doing is to teach you guys or to teach people how to enter these fields so that way they can grow and prosper through that. Um, what you guys may be doing may be completely different. Like I got into um, cybersecurity through malware. Um, if you're trying to get into malware development, um, Windows is the most targeted <laughs> operating system for malware. So getting familiar with Windows, getting familiar with PowerShell, Visual Basic, like the languages that work through a lot of Windows computers, getting to understand how they work and I guess how to create and develop, develop malware for those computers that's what you need to be focusing on. You don't really need a lot of tools. When you are developing malware, if you're trying to get into Wi-Fi hacking or um, some other type of hacking, um, forensics maybe, um, there's so many other tools outside of that. So if you are new to the career field, obviously you need to invest in some time into Linux, right? Linux is one of the most key part about um, hacking because it's where if you use a hacking operating system like Kali Linux or Parrot OS, um, they have a lot of the tools already there for you. And again, they're completely free operating systems, so you can start getting familiar with the tools. So that way you don't have to worry about it as much for the trainings going on to the future. So I guess as a general recap, it's just kind of knowing where you want to go, like knowing what you're trying to do. And through that, you can kind of calculate what expenses you actually need to get into that field. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, hope, if you have any other questions, make sure to leave a comment or join the Discord server and ask me over there because that's where I'm most active. I'm almost on the Discord server every day. So if you guys are any questions, that's probably one of the best ways to reach me. But again, that's going to be it, guys. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and they'll do the whole YouTube algorithm thing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So stay happy, stay positive, and as always, happy hacking.